Hello, the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to make a residual plot once you have a distribution and a least squares regression line on that distribution. So, as you can see right here, I have a, a scatter plot. This is from the data on uh, percent of adult birds returning and the number of new adults in the colony. So I've entered that in L1 and L2 and I made a scatter plot and I calculated the least squares linear regression line. So now if we want to make a residual plot, the way we do that is we go to the lists and we go to list 3 and what we're going to do for list 3 is we're going to define list 3 to be the value that our least squares line would predict we should have for each of these things here. So to do that it's pretty easy. We just click enter and then uh, what I'm going to do is click in variables, y variable function, I want function 1 and I want that because that's the one where my least squares line is stored. So I click that and then I put parentheses and I say let's uh, calculate the value of L1 according to our least squares line. So I'm going to do L1 and again what that's doing is it's storing in list 3 the value that our least squares line would predict for each value each explanatory variable here. So I hit enter and uh, and then you can see this was the actual number 5 and the predicted number was 9, actual number was 6, predicted 11, actual 8, predicted 7, etc, etc, etc. So we do that. Then we go to list 4 and in list 4 we hit enter and we're gonna find the difference or the residual, the difference between the prediction and the observed value. Um, Actually, it's the observed value minus the predicted value. So for us, that's L2. That's the observed value minus L3. That was our predicted value based on our least uh, squares line. So I hit enter, <clears throat> and it calculates that for me. Then I go over to graph. Uh, I'm sorry, not graph. I go to second stat plot, and I'm going to... Uh, turn off the first one. The first one is the one that was plotting the least squares line. So I'm going to turn that off. Put the least squares line off. And then I'm going to go to plot 2. And in plot 2 I'm going to plot uh, the same thing, um, the L1, that's our explanatory variable, versus L4. L4, remember, is the residual. It's the difference between the observed value L2 and the predicted value L3. So I'm going to plot those two, and then I hit Enter to make it on, and then I'll hit Graph, and uh, oops, I forgot to do one thing. To go back here, and I have to turn off this right here. So you just go to the equal sign and click enter because I don't want to actually plot the linear regression line anymore. So I click graph and then I'll do zoom 9 for statistics and you can see the residual plot right here. The x-axis of the residual plot you can kind of think of as a reference line sort of like the least squares line and uh, the points above the reference line are uh, positive residuals and below are negative residuals. So those are the actual data points. So that means that uh, our our line, our reference point here, was a little bit too small for this one. It was a lot too small for that one. It was too big for this one, meaning the data point here is, is quite a bit less than what we would have predicted based on the reference line. The reference line here is what our prediction would be. But we can see that the data is sort of scattered around it. Some is sort of uh, above it and some is below it. So that's how you make a residual plot.